The first thing I want to do with this piece is um, you'll see on this edge here that I've actually got two, two edges. I've got an edge there and I've got an edge there. And the first thing I want to do is I want to flake it so that I have a ridge that runs right down the middle like, like I've done on this side. And at the same time, um, what I want to do is be able to set up striking platforms all along this edge. You can actually see it's, the edge is still at this point quite sinewy. And basically what I'm going to do is every time there's, wherever there's a little dip, I know there's one of those ridges there. You can actually see there's the ridge there. And so I'm going to start, set up a platform there. There's another one of those dips just on the other side. There's a flake scar there that I can follow um, all the way along. There's another little dip and there's the ridge. So that's how I'm going to set up my, um, my platforms. The first one I'll do is I'll set up this one here because it's got a nice, fairly nice little ridge and I should be able to get a flake that goes at least, at least half ways. The, the number one thing that you really want to always be aware of when you're, when you're doing soft hammer percussion is that your platforms are prepared. Um, the better your platform is prepared, the better chance you'll produce the, the type of flake that you want. Um, if you don't spend the time with preparing your platform, you're basically, you're, you're adding an element of chance to it. Um, so you really want to control everything that you do. And so the better prepared your platform is, the better chance it will produce the type of flake that you want. Um, the other thing you always want to keep in mind is I've got rid of most of that, that bad rock, that rotten rock that was sort of right in here. There's a little bit of it still left right there. I'm going to try and angle my flake this way and hopefully it'll, it won't, um, that rotten rock won't actually wreck the type of flake that I'm, I want to produce. And one of the, one of the things I'm doing is um, I'm supporting this rock as best as I can all the way from this edge all the way to this edge here. And part of it is on my leg, but the other half or the part that's actually sticking out, I'm using my fingers um, to support it so that when I strike this rock, it doesn't move at all. Um, it'll move a little bit, but uh, between, between the support from my leg and the support from the fingers, my fingers, I should be able to um, not make this rock move too much. And the other thing is, um, a lot of the flakes that I'm producing at this stage are still very usable. Um, if I was to make uh, simple tools like retouch flakes and awls and spoke shaves and things like that, the flakes that I'm use, producing here, I can in fact use those to, to make those types of tools. So I'm not just going to throw these, I'm trying to keep the big flakes as intact as possible so that I can produce um, other tools further on down the line. Of course. Yeah, that was a bit too rotten, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Basically what I'll do is I'll just move it over a wee bit and hopefully I'll have a bit more solid rock.